Hello. In this lesson, we'll continue looking at past tense modals. The modals may have, might have, could have, and must have all express certainty about past situations. As you learned with should have, the auxiliary verb have is difficult to hear because it is usually pronounced as a schwa. Again, it's important to listen for the past participle verb. That will help you know the modal is in the past. Listen to these examples. Annie may go home. Annie may have gone home. She might leave early. She might have left early. It could rain. It could have rained. It must be true. It must have been true. The modals must have and had to have show that the speaker feels about 95% certain something is true. Look, someone left their notebook here. It has Arabic writing. It must have been Amira. She's the only Arabic speaker in this class. When we're 95% certain about something, it's also possible to use had to have been. It had to have been Amira. But be careful. For negative conclusions, we can only use must not have not didn't have to have. It must not have been Yoko. She doesn't speak Arabic. Not. If we aren't certain about something, we use may have, might have, or could have. These modals show we're about 50% sure or less. We are only guessing. Where is Amira? I don't know. She may have gone home. She might have visited a friend. She could have had an appointment. May not have and might not have also express a guess about the past. Maybe she left early. She might not have felt well today. Be careful. Could have shows about 50% certainty or less, but the negative form couldn't have expresses disbelief or even impossibility. When we use couldn't have, we feel about 99% certain something did not happen or was not true. No way! Amira couldn't have traveled out of the country. I saw her only an hour ago. I believe it's impossible that she could have left the country in the last hour. Did you understand the lesson? Great! You must have been paying attention.